I don't know if you guys heard, but like the Fairlife protein chocolate milkshakes, those were found to have really high levels of toxic chemicals that come from plastic. Fairlife protein drinks have really high levels of phthalates. Well, phthalates and dairy have been a problem for a really, really long time. Phthalates are linked to genital deformation in boys, infertility, low sperm quality, altered testosterone levels, um, it messes up the hormones in your body. So really to me, the question is like, how many machines has my food been in, right? The less machines, the better, right? And so every single machine in a manufacturing facility that has to be sanitized. And a lot of the times it's just like lined in plastic or covered in plastic. Anything that comes in contact with plastic has two problems. You got the microplastics, which are like the tiny little shards of plastic that come off. And you also have the chemical additives that also come off of plastic, okay? All the normal types of plastic that we use every single day, those on average have about 400 toxic chemicals that will also leach out. And specifically phthalates are in lots of plastic, but mostly in PVC, you know, like your drinking water pipes, right? It's also really prevalent in lots of manufacturing facilities because it creates soft, flexible plastic, and that's really good for liquids, right? So it's literally from the milking machines, it's that soft plastic tubing that attaches to like the udders, right? And so that would be for all dairy, like not just this kind. However, this particular kind, Fairlife, they like to bill themselves as being like ultra filtered, and basically that means super, super processed. And they say directly on their website, we flow our milk through special soft filters. Cool soft filters, right? That to me says PVC. And by the way, like, what are they actually filtering if they're not getting out the phthalates? Because like, those actually aren't that difficult to remove. So like, what are they actually removing? If you want to avoid this stuff, you really got to do as fresh and unprocessed as you possibly can. Like you want your food to not touch lots of machines. If you can get something organic, if you can get something plant-based, that would be better too. And if